Caring for patients with a tracheostomy in a long-term care setting comes with its unique set of challenges, one of the most common being managing thick secretions. This is why proper humidification plays a key role in keeping secretions manageable and preventing complications. But what happens when the current setup isn't doing the job? As a respiratory therapist, it's your responsibility to know how to respond, which is why we created this video to break down a practice question on this very topic. So if you're ready, let's get into the question. A respiratory therapist is struggling to clear thick secretions from a patient with a permanent tracheostomy who is in a long-term care facility. The patient is spontaneously breathing through a tracheostomy collar connected to an HME for humidification. Which of the following interventions would you recommend? A. Administer a mucolytic agent. B. Replace the HME with a new one. C. Switch to heated humidification. Or D. Increase the frequency of tracheostomy suctioning. Do you know the answer? Well, let's break it down. Managing thick secretions in tracheostomy patients requires adequate airway humidification to prevent secretions from being dry and tenacious. While HMEs provide some humidification, they are often insufficient for patients with thick secretions, as they rely on the patient's own exhaled moisture to humidify incoming air. Switching to an actively heated humidification system ensures that the airway receives optimal moisture levels, helping to thin and mobilize secretions effectively. This reduces the need for frequent suctioning and minimizes airway complications. Simply replacing the HME or increasing suction frequency addresses the symptoms temporarily but fails to resolve the underlying issue of inadequate humidification. While mucolytics can assist in thinning secretions, they are secondary to ensuring proper humidification, which is the primary intervention for managing thick secretions in tracheostomy patients. And this means that the correct answer has to be C. Switch to heated humidification. If you enjoy practice questions like this, definitely consider checking out our TMC test page. It's a massive bank of practice questions with helpful explanations like this one that students are using to pass the TMC exam. It also comes with multiple mock TMC practice exams to help you test your knowledge and prepare for the real thing. If you're interested, I'll drop a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more, including some premium bonuses that are included for a limited time. You can also consider signing up to receive daily TMC practice questions directly to your inbox each morning when you wake up. This is one of the most effective strategies to learn every topic that's required to earn a passing score. Again, if you're interested, check out the links below in the description. But real quick, if you don't mind, please drop a like on this video and subscribe to support the channel and there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.